Welcome back everybody to the Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike YouTube channel. We are here with the Arrows RC 1100mm F8F Bearcat. That's 43 inches and 3 cell power, 40 amp ESC, 850 kV brushless outrunner. The assembly should be a breeze, super quick. We're going to dive into this box, show you what you get, and get this baby assembled. Let's go. Wow, look at this beaut. Holy smokes. Look at that, baby. Wow. Love it. Nice four, one piece, four blader. We have our spar for the horizontal. Not much to it, guys. So this is how it comes out of the box. Everything is installed already. Decals are on already. This paint looks great. I like how there's a little bit of a shine to it. There's the nice horizontal and a spar for it. Uh, props already have decal on it, one piece prop. Here's the fuselage, that tail wheel is awesome. I love the rivet detail and the panel lines. Uh, even the cockpit's been embellished some. Super nice. The dummy radial's nice, kind of shiny, but man, that's what modeling's for, right? You could make this thing look really nice with just a little bit of attention. And for being an 1100 millimeter plane, it seems very big. I'm so excited. Uh, let's dig in. First things first, let's get the wing on. So we'll get into the battery compartment and expose that so we can have access to the leads coming up right here nice big battery bay you're gonna be able to fit whatever size packs you want in here I love the feel of this big solid wing so this is how it comes which is nice because it'll keep your wires from making damage on your phone and everything is done all these leads the 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 Y connectors they're labeled and they're done for you so go ahead and you know one thing we might do too we'll have to see how it fits but we could do something you might want to do something you could even use that tape that just came with it to secure that in there this will make sure that your wires don't come out of that trough it's not going to hurt anything Now you can't miss this big opening right here and since we have the battery hatch off this should just drop right down perfect and because we taped that we know that this fit is right the first time oh yes oh man yeah, that's a good idea. Use that tape or do something. Time to screw the wings on. Yeah. Same as before. They're all the same size except for the tail. Can't get it wrong. One. Two. Three. Four. And came with an extra one too in case you lose it got every one of them started nice before I cinch them up tight don't over tighten them nice that's sweet all right tail time grab your spar for the tail and stick it in And that should line up really good right there in the hole. And again, these will join together. So if you start with them in the same position, you'll save yourself some trouble. It's such a nice fit. You'll kind of be pushing forward and in at the same time. 
so you don't catch up here on the back end. First try, just like the uh, Trojan, no big deal, easy peasy. And these are little tiny Phillips, countersunk, flat heads, fits in there really nice. And if it's hard to get in there, sometimes you gotta loosen and tighten at the same time because you're kind of tapping your own thread in there. But this is going in really nice and straight. Look at that. Nice and flush is all you want. Second verse, same as the first. Here's the other side. I mean, this thing is about done. Start off nice and straight. You'll be glad. wonderful it's time to set this baby up these are just really a joy to put together so let's see number one ailerons number two it's labeled elevator number three is going to be throttle number four is going to be rudder these are easy to set up channel five is going to be landing gear channel six flaps it's done. <laughs> Let's get these gear down. Yeah. All right, brand new channel, neutral everything. And we're gonna fire it up. I'm gonna put a 2200 in here all the way forward. And again, there's Velcro and a strap, which is very nice. XT60s. I got a little adapter and fire in the hole. No prop on here because we're just setting up the plane. All right, let's turn it over and get those gear down. Let's see this baby. Metal trunnion retracts. Look at that. Those tires look sweet. Check it out. Those look sweet. All right, let's flip it over on its um, wheels. And here's this, our tank slides right in just like this. Look at that, love it. Everything looks dead on neutral too from the uh, factory as far as the ailerons and flaps go. Look at that, oh, I love it. All right, let's flip it over. Before we flip it over, we're gonna go ahead and attach the elevator. The elevator clevis is the only thing you've gotta do in the way of uh, setting it up. So it goes on the furthest control horn hole. All right, no problem there. This is moving nice and free. Click it, slide your tubing over, and you're done. Nice. So we get the gear out of the way. And this is really the only thing you're going to have to deal with in the way of glue or anything like that. These come out, and then you put your guns in. So that'll go in there. Just pry easily. And you know, you might want to use a, a knife to, oh good, it popped right off. There's a little bit of double-sided right there. So this goes just like so. It's molded for it, you can't get it wrong. And then that just fits right back in. You don't even have to glue it. Oh, that's brilliant. I love it. <laughs> nice. Popped right out. Nice and easy. And again, this only fits one way. Now, you can glue these if you want. 
But I, I am not going to because I didn't need to. It's got this double-sided tape right there. Again, if you're gonna glue it, uh, you can use whatever you'd like, CA, but I, I'm the kind of guy who would like foam tack or something like that. But those stick in there so nice. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> Guys, it's done. Just gotta set throws. Get the, we'll show you the prop assembly next. All right, let's get this prop assembly dealt with. And uh, first thing we're gonna do is unplug the plane though. All right. So here's the prop. Here's the hub and all for the prop. So go ahead and grab the back piece with the hex on it. Stick our prop in there. this piece on the heck should fit really nice came with a washer oh, and here's the really sweet little threaded hub I love this Tighten that up. Everything gets nice and solid. You may not need that washer. Ha oh, ha, that is sweet. Look at that. That looks awesome. All right, now we're gonna safely fire it up and test it out. Throttle down, radio on. We already have the battery bound up so we know it's safe. We're just gonna run it up, check balance. Oh yeah. Man, on 3S, that's gonna be fantastic. This blew everything out of here. <laughs> All right. It's a keeper. So sweet. All right. Well, there you go. That's as easy as that. That's the 1100 millimeter FAF Bearcat from Aeros RC. Unboxing and build, super easy. Once again, six screws gets it done. You can glue the guns if you'd like, but if you're very careful, you can pop them out and reuse that double-sided tape. Uh, gloom if you want. I like foam tack or something like that rather than CA, but do whatever you can. Uh, be safe. Do what you got to do to bind it up and test your throws and all that kind of stuff with the prop off. Of course, be careful. Uh, retracts and flaps, 1100 millimeters. That's 43 inches, three cell power, 40 amp ESC, 850 kV outrunner. Seems to have plenty of power. This thing looks great and it feels a lot bigger than 1100 millimeters. Uh, this thing is sweet. Uh, thanks for coming by. Subscribe here to the Pilot Riding Captain Mike YouTube channel so you can see when we get this thing out to the field and fly it around. We'll do the maiden flight and a flight review. Um, thanks for coming by here to this YouTube channel and make sure you go to aerosrc.com and get on their mailing list. Subscribe there, give them your email so you can find out when new planes release at aerosrc.com. Thanks for coming here for information on new things coming to the hobby. We really appreciate you. And if you have any questions, just hit us up in the comment section below. And again, visit aerosrc.com to follow up, order this thing for yourself, and see, and also it's here exclusive in North America. So they support it here. So there's parts for this thing. Uh, so again, thanks for coming by. This is your pilot, Ryan. We'll see you next time.